This is Daily Armenia, Civilnet's Daily News Digest. Here's what you need to know today. The United States and European Union will collectively provide Armenia with additional financial support worth nearly $360 million to support the country's development and address the needs of the more than 100,000 Armenians forcibly displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh last year. That's according to European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who confirmed the news today alongside Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan ahead of a first-of-its-kind three-way meeting in Brussels. The European support package consists of more than $290 million in grants to be dispersed over the next four years, while the American aid totals $65 million. We will support your businesses, your talents, in particular your small and medium enterprises so that we can help them to grow, to innovate, and to access new markets, and we will invest in key infrastructure projects, von der Leyen said. Adding, the humanitarian situation of refugees in Armenia remains a priority as well. Meanwhile, the United States plans investments in food security, digital infrastructure, diversification of energy, diversification of trade partners, and other priorities, as well as support for Armenians displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh, according to Blinken. Joseph Borrell, the EU's foreign policy chief, who was also present for today's press conference, hailed the fact that our relations with Armenia are stronger than ever and there is a mutual interest to advance them further, take this partnership to the next level, and move relations forward in all directions. These are not just words, Borrell insisted. For his part, Pashinyan said he welcomed the latest support, while reiterating Armenia remains committed to the normalization of relations with Azerbaijan based on mutual recognition of each other's sovereignty and territorial integrity, and also fully committed to the delimitation of borders. Von der Leyen and Blinken both responded positively to Pashinyan's trademark Crossroads of Peace initiative, stressing the importance of opening new transit and trade routes through Armenia to connect the country to the rest of the region and the world. After giving remarks to the press, Pashinyan, von der Leyen, and Blinken held first of their kind three-way talks behind closed doors. As of this afternoon, there was no additional information made available. Please follow CivilNet for more information from Brussels as we receive it. In addition, Pashinyan met separately with USAID Chief Samantha Power while in Brussels to review the agency's work in Armenia and explore opportunities for expanded cooperation. In a readout, Pashinyan's office said the talks had centered on greater support for Armenians displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh with a particular focus on housing. Meanwhile, Turkey has reacted with anger to today's Armenia-EU-US summit, releasing a statement yesterday saying the talks which exclude Azerbaijan will undermine the neutral approach that should be the basis for the solution of the complex problems of the region, and will pave the way for the South Caucasus to become an area of geopolitical confrontation. Earlier, Azerbaijan had also lashed out at the West for hosting today's meeting, saying it sees it as escalatory and warning the European Union and United States will share responsibility with Armenia for any future tensions in the region. Russia, too, has decried the talk, saying the meeting has an anti Russian orientation and accusing the West of making empty promises to Armenia that it cannot or will not fulfill. In an apparent attempt at damage control, Blinken phoned Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev earlier this week to assure him today's talks are focused on economic and humanitarian issues and to underscore that there is no justification for increased tension. And finally, the civil net number of the day is 28. That's the new total number of people who have been awarded the title National Hero of Armenia, with philanthropist Dikran Izmirlan inducted yesterday. It is Armenia's highest national honor. And as always, please follow CivilNet for the latest news and independent reporting from our contributors on the ground here in Armenia.